y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here. And I hope that you had a great weekend. Um, it's been a lot going on. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to a new week. It is Monday. And I'd hope to actually have gotten out a video a little bit earlier today, but hey, here we are. Um, but again, I hope that you are having also a great day uh, thus far and I uh, hope that you have a week full of wins. So with that being said, thank you so much for being here, and I'm so glad that you are here. And we're going to be talking about Married in Medicine today. Now, I don't know if you are familiar, if you're watching this, if you're familiar with Married in Medicine or not, so I'm not going to assume that everybody might that might take a look at this video will know about Married in Medicine. But for those of us who do know, um, and hopefully I would say for the most part, a lot of us absolutely love this show. Now, Married in Medicine, for those who are not familiar, just a small um, kind of synopsis is basically it's a show set in Atlanta, Georgia, and um, it's basically um, female doctors and also doctor's wives. So they are a group of individuals who have basically, I would say a large percentage of them who have pretty much been together since the beginning of the show where it shows inception and actually were friends um, from, you know, many, many years, even before then. Um, the original, uh, I guess, one of the ladies that actually put the show together, who we're actually be talking about a little bit on, um, this uh, video um, is a Mariah Huckley, and um, and I miss her. I miss her. You know, there's a lot of uh, things that happen, I guess, in front of the scene, behind the scene, and she's just no longer here. But she is someone that's been credited for bringing the ladies together for this particular show, and um, they have just uh, celebrated their 10 year anniversary, and they're actually now in hiatus. It, I believe, the uh, season finale had uh, aired about maybe a couple months ago or so, roughly. Um, but it's a great show. It has a lot of warmth as well as a lot of adversity. But one thing I appreciate about this show is that they really take the time to kind of get through things and move past them about all possible. Not all situations happen that way, but a majority of them do. Now, there's still some open wounds in some of these situations that I hope at some point we will start to see something change. Uh, change for some of these relationships. But for the most part, uh, you know, honestly, Real Housewives, some franchises, maybe not every single one of them, but someone could really take a lesson on how it is to move forward with a situation instead of staying stuck in the same place year after year after year, season after season after season. So that's one thing that I do appreciate about Married in Medicine. So what we're going to do, though, is in this particular sharing, I'm going to go over some of the most, um, <laughs> we'll say, maybe symbolic to some degree, but um, interesting feuds that have happened. And they have actually came out with a maybe top eight as they were thinking of feuds for Married in Medicine. Because let me tell you, some of them are historic, but a lot of them were able to get to a place where now they're in a better space or at least a more authentic space. So let's go ahead and get on into it. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to start off with um, just a brief sharing um, from Collider.com in regards to the preface of these uh, dynamic um, <laughs> soon to be um, stories that we're going to talk about or, you know, synopsis that we're going to talk about. So uh, the most, well, Calder.com says that the eight most dramatic fights on Married to Medicine, and here we go. So Bravo's most underrated show, Married to Medicine, is finally getting the recognition it deserves. The ratings for the reality series have soared thanks to the active conversations on social media, particularly the live reviews on YouTube by cast member Dr. Heavenly Kimes and reality TV producer Carlos King. This incredible show has captivated audiences for over a decade with its infamous views and inspiring countless memes and gifts. While the Married to Medicine cast may not hold back when it comes to their views, they strive to uphold one institution, the institution of marriage, hence Married to Medicine. Now, during this talk, everyone by announcing she had planned to divorce her husband, Cecil Whitmore. However, the cast rallied together to support the couple and emphasize the importance of fighting for their marriage. And trust me, I have never seen anything like it on any other reality show. It was one for the ages. Now, this led to the couple reconciling during the reunion and agreeing to halt their divorce, filing and begin therapy to repair their marriage. 
Host Andy Cohen called this reunion the realest reunion ever. And despite this impressive accomplishment that has kept the show's longest standing couple married, the women remain on guard and ready to attack each other. Every now and again, it's not always that way. <laughs> now the Married to Medicine ladies have consistently delivered captivating drama every season most certainly have. This incredible show has produced iconic views that have lasted for multiple seasons, extended beyond the reunion, and igniting social media battles. Well, you know, that's a little bit of drama here and there, right? Now, whether you are a devoted viewer, like myself, <laughs> of this popular Bravo show, it is impossible to overlook these notorious views when discussing the greatest feuds in reality TV history. And I would have to second that. So we're going to go ahead and start with the first, which actually is placed in eighth place. And that is that of Mariah versus Quad. And I believe the captioning maybe for this particular um, sharing was on a show that was representing the Queen Bee takes a backseat to the rising star. The rising star being Quad and the Queen Bee being Mariah. All right, so let's get into this. One of the most intense rivalries in Married to Medicine was between former best friends Mariah Huck and uh, Quad Webb. It is widely known that Mariah was the mastermind behind the show's concept and pitched it to Bravo, all while serving as an executive producer and cast member. Mariah and Quad were best friends before the show, and their bond was evident in the first season, as they were practically inseparable and even finished each other's sentences. However, as the show gained popularity in its second season, Quad quickly became a fan favorite and this led to some of the other ladies feeling that mariah intentionally tried to make them feel inferior the tension between mariah and quad reached its peak when news of an alleged off-camera fight at a steak restaurant in atlanta surfaced during season two from then on both women went to great lengths to tarnish each other's reputations feeling the fire of their infamous feud Quad delivered a dramatic performance highlighting Mariah's negative impact on her life while Mariah famously said, I will not get off my chariot and throw tomatoes with you. This marked the beginning of Mariah's gradual exclusion from the group as she was excluded from the cast trip. The animosity between Quad and Mariah reached its peaks during season six, reaching a boiling point that was impossible to ignore. The crowd boil incident became infamous as it intensified their feud to new levels of intensity, resulting in a heated argument that nearly turned physical. The accusations hurled at each other during the season six reunion pushed their rivalry to unprecedented heights, with Mariah accusing Quad of having an affair with her brother-in-law and Quad alleging Mariah has a past of using um, the powder. Uh, this six-year feud has reached its highest and lowest points, revealing their once close friendship's dark and bitter nature. And of course, all of those accusations are all alleged. <laughs> and unfortunately, to this day, they're still at odds. And I, I've mentioned this before that I wish that they would get, you know, to some um, happy medium, some place where they can sit down and have an authentic conversation and kind of get through the issues that they have had and try to come to some place. And I want Mariah back on the show. So there's that. Uh, next up, we have in seventh place, Lisa, which is Lisa Nicole versus Quad Webb. Now Lisa Nicole Cloud made a lasting impact on the cast of Married to Medicine during her time on the show. From seasons two to four, she formed friendships with several ladies, including Toya Bush Harris, Dr. Heavenly and Quad. However, things took a turn when Lisa decided to conduct a background check on Quad before entering a business partnership with her. And boy, do I remember that episode and that season as a whole. This action deeply offended Quad, leading her to hire a private detective to uncover Lisa's past. The tension between the two escalated to a point where a heated confrontation occurred outside a restaurant, resulting in a legendary brawl. During this altercation, Lisa became furious when Quad brought up her previous uh, DV charge, causing her to throw a drink in Quad's face. And let me tell you, it was pretty epic, but it was so disrespectful in that, that it really did take a turn within the season because it was so out of character you know the whole thing with the throwing the glass and the drink on each other i mean it's just so overdone and played and um it wasn't taken um too well at the time by i want to say majority of the ladies if not all of them 
Now, the situation had to be diffused quickly to prevent further escalation. As a result, the group becomes divided, with Quad refusing to be around Lisa, claiming that the glass from the throne drink entered her face. Despite Quad and Lisa exchanging apologies at the reunion, the two never became friends again like before. Four. Now, Lisa found herself at odds with Dr. Heavenly and Toya, but her clash with Quad remained the most dramatic on a, the reality TV series, and their rapid shift from close friends to bitter enemies in season three was particularly shocking given their initial friendship in season two. Sixth place, Mariah versus Dr. Heavenly. The ongoing battle between, oh, and let's go ahead and give the little, there we go. The ongoing battle between Mariah and Dr. Heavenly has become legendary, even though Mariah is no longer on the show. It all started during the season four reunion, where it became obvious that a feud was about to unfold. The icing on the cake for this feud began with a single phrase, yo mama. Mm. Brass forward to the season five reunion, where Dr. Heavenly decided to play a prank on Mariah by drawing a mustache on her self-portrait that hung outside her dressing room door. And boy, let me tell you, Mariah was boiling hot behind that. While the rest of the cast brushed it off as a silly joke, this act infuriated Mariah and her family. In a recent interview with Carlos King, Mariah expressed her deep disappointment in Heavenly's behavior, emphasizing how her family and friends were deeply offended and outraged by the damage done to her poster. Now, due to her outrage at Heavenly drawing on her poster, Mariah enters season six of Married to Medicine with a fiery determination to expose Heavenly's husband, Dr. Damon, for his alleged infidelity. The tension between them escalated during the cast trip to Antigua and where Mariah wanted Quad to divulge to everyone about her troubled marriage. In typical heavenly fashion, she defended Quad's right to keep her personal life private until she was ready to reveal the information. After exchanging harsh words with each other, Mariah was infuriated, leading her to shatter a champagne glass and threatening towards uh, Dr. Heavenly. The situation quickly spiraled out of control, prompting everyone at the table to intervene and separate the feuding ladies and their husbands. And let me tell you, the husbands are just as involved in the casting um, of these ladies as much as the wives are, and which is always a treat too, right? Because you get to see the balance and the difference. And I love that. I like that with Real Housewives too, when husbands are involved. And not necessarily fighting with the ladies, but when they like go on trips together, stuff like that, it's quite interesting makes the show more entertaining, I think. Um, in her confessional, Quad described Mariah's aggressive actions, comparing it to a scene from the Shawshank Redemption. She said Mariah breaks a flute on the side of her chair and cuffs it in her hand. This ain't the Shawshank Redemption. The feud between Mariah and Heavenly was continued to this day, with Heavenly demanding concrete evidence for an end to the cheating rumors. It is undeniable that Married to Medicine has produced legendary feuds that surpass those of many other reality TV shows. Next up, and in fifth place, we have Toya versus Quad and Anelia. Now, the friendship between Toya and Anelia Saha turned especially sour when Anelia's home was burglarized in season nine. Just before this incident occurred, the pair butted heads at Quad's uh, Holy Slate party when Dr. Heavenly informed Toya that uh, women in their friend group had been spreading a rumor that Toya had cheated on her husband, Dr. Eugene Harris, with a man from her neighborhood. Mm. Coincidentally, Anelia lives in the same neighborhood as Toya and had already been feuding with her since she was introduced to the group in season eight. Yeah, like they got like a, a good two or three episodes in where they were friends and then that was that. <laughs> Shortly after Quad's party, Anelia's home was broken into and she then heavily implied, uh, <laughs> I think she felt like she did a little bit more than that, that Toya was somehow involved. Quad tries to revive her standing and begins to get messy and plays both sides and bit to stay relevant since she was already feuding with Toya and had spent the season closing up to Amelia. Quad and Anelia perpetrated the rumor, assuming that Toya had let the robbers into the gated community to get revenge on Anelia for spreading the cheating rumor. Now, you can only imagine how messy and really demoralizing this was. Now, and uh, let's see where we go. When Anelia later tried to walk back the accusation, claiming she never directly said that Toya had planned the burglary, Quad was there to hold her to the feet of the fire, telling her, Anelia, you would tell anyone with a pair of ears that you thought Toya had something to do with it. Mm, 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 mm. And here we go, sliding in to a sixth or fourth place, excuse me, is Dr. Gregory versus Quad. Now, the separation between Dr. Gregory and Quad was just toxic as their marriage. Quad had attempted to speak to her psychiatrist husband several times about his absence from her marriage, a conversation which he would inevitably shut down every time. 
Quad filed for divorce in 2018 when she discovered an alleged act of infidelity when Gregory spent an evening with another woman in a hotel room. Gregory admitted to the hotel room, but denied anything that happened between him and the other women. Mm -hmm. Who else does that sound like? Maybe a little bit like Michael from Potomac, except there was something that happened. Uh, the pair also accused each other of physical abuse during their tumultuous time together. But that wouldn't be the last viewers would see of Quad's ex-husband, which I thought it would have been, since he agreed to return to the series in season 10 after he got engaged to Letitia Sweetie Lunsford, who he is now married to. Now, moving on to third place. We have Dr. Jackie versus Buffy. Now, Dr. Jackie is regularly called the voice of reason among the often contentious women and her group of friends, but viewers have also picked up on a darker side of Dr. Jackie, which has only been seen in glimpses over the 10 seasons of the series. The good doctor is simply great at maintaining a professional and stern demeanor while delivering words of wisdom with a smile. Before a brief moment, her professionalism slipped at her event to reveal her new book cover in season seven. Now, Dr. Jackie had announced over the microphone that co-star Buffy Purcell was infertile. Oh my gosh. And was that a mic dropping moment? I felt so bad for Buffy in that moment. Um, it was a very private piece of information that an OBGYN of all people should have known is a sensitive topic to raise on someone else's behalf. Many women in the room looked shocked and spoke about the indiscreet moment afterward, but Buffy did not raise the issue with Dr. Jackie that day, letting her close out her event in style. That was not the end of the conversation, however. On the group trip to Cabo St. Lucas, Buffy brought the moment up at a group dinner in front of her castmates and their husbands. Dr. Jackie looked shocked to be accused of being insensitive and explained that she had only been trying to relate to her co-star. When the women continued their efforts to force Dr. Jackie to see that she had made an error, a very different side of the friend surfaced. She apologized very sternly, then insisted that the conversation be dropped. When Toya made a comment that this stern version of their friend was not the woman the ladies in the group were used to, Dr. Jackie replied that with fire in her eyes, you know it, a new girl is about to surface. Mm, 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 mm. Just met her, Dr. Simone observed in a confessional that her friend had reached this level of anger, not because of Buffy had raised the issue, but more so because she raised it in front of the group while filming. Dr. Simone noted that her friend didn't like being put on blast and no she did not at the table dr jackie claimed that she and buffy were no longer true friends but had downgraded their relationship to being mere associates it was like a doubling and tripling down effect that dr jackie did in that moment and it was so unnecessary and so uh, uncalled for to be so desensitized to what was actually being said and i feel like if she had more empathy in that moment she would have been able to really get to a resolution and it was just it never was okay from that point on Moving on to second place, Dr. Simone versus Dr. Heavenly. Now, by all odds, Dr. Simone and Dr. Heavenly should get along with their boisterous personalities, you would think, and they did at some point, and their shared love of a shady comment. However, over the years, they have repeatedly sparred, and each conflict seems to put another brick in the walls they were building between each other. At the beginning of season seven, Dr. Simone was hurt that Dr. Heavenly had exposed complaints about her marriage that she had shared in confidence with her friend. Her husband, Cecil, had made a comment on Twitter that Dr. Heavenly had found offensive. She out Dr. Simone's grievances on the social media platform in response. Although the friends were able to make amends in the short term to appease Dr. Jackie, who felt caught in the middle of her friend's feud, but the relationship never truly recovered. And what was so sad in that moment as well is that Dr. Heavenly and Dr. Simone had really been, you know, very close friends. At least that's what was portrayed when Dr. Heavenly had a very emotional uh, visit home to her home. I believe it, it, it was in Florida. I'm not, I don't know if it was Miami, but in Florida. And um, Dr. Simone was there and it was just a very impassioned conversation that they had about, you know, her growing up, her upbringing. And it really seemed like it sealed a deal for a really good friendship. And then all of a sudden things went poof. Now, this was apparent in Married to Medicine season 10 when Dr. Simone, who chose to take the group back to Hilton Head Resort, the location where Dr. Jackie's husband, Curtis, had been caught up in a cheating scandal during season five. Let's make sure that we're not missing anything here. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're not. Moving on. <laughs> 
Um, Curtis had been caught up in a cheating scandal during season five. Ooh, and that was horrific too. Dr. Heavily implied that Dr. Simone was a bad friend for choosing a location that her best friend might have sensitive feelings about. While Dr. Simone genuinely seemed shocked that Dr. Jackie might have been hurt by this lapse in judgment. When Dr. Heavenly attempted to address Dr. Simone's error in front of the group, once they had all arrived at the resort, a frustrated Dr. Simone shouted at her co-star, I don't give a you-know-what about you, which says a lot about the state of their relationship. Mm -mm -mm. Sliding into first place, which I assume this would be the mother of all <laughs> yous. This would be Dr. Jackie versus Sweet Tea. In this last season, mind you, Dr. Jackie's been on the show for 10 years. Sweet Tea's only been in this last year. So the fact that this is a number one feud is astonishing to me. But let's continue. Sweet Tea joined the cast in season 10 as the fiance of Dr. Gregory. Her entry into the group had a rocky start as the lady's loyalty still seemed to lie with this first wife and their longtime co-star plot. And no, it should. Dr. Jackie seemed excessively shading when she continued to point out to Sweet Tea that her home used to be quads, as did her man. Finally, during the Hilton Head trip, Sweet Tea had enough and decided to address Dr. Jackie directly. Dr. Jackie addressed the sensitive topic of her marriage almost falling apart as something she would prefer not to discuss with her group of friends. Sweet Tea took a moment to point out that her co-star had not been sensitive to her desire to keep Quad out of the conversation about her recent marriage to Dr. Gregory. Dr. Jackie is famously someone who does not handle criticism well in this group, and this is true. And she snapped at Sweet Tea. The good doctor first asked her co-star if she was trying to make her feel uncomfortable and then followed it up by saying, bring it. And Sweet Tea rose to the challenge. When Sweet Tea tried to once again point out that it was unfair of Dr. Jackie to refuse to speak about her marriage problems after dragging Sweet Tea and Gregory's issues to light whenever possible, Dr. Jackie slipped back into a professional voice when trying to shut down Sweet Tea and her co-star tired of this condesa uh, condensation condescending <laughs> uh, nature and barked out an explicitive and whoo, yeah, she cleared the room with it at Dr. Jackie. And this was at the location where all of the uh, couples were together on that couple trip in Hilton Head as if it was not already tense enough because again, Hilton Head was the, uh, one of the scenes of the crimes, if you will, of Dr. Jackie's husband having an affair. Now, uh, I surprised Dr. Jackie, along with everybody else, <laughs> only responded by saying she would handle baby girl at another time. When Sweet Tea apologized the next day, Dr. Jackie received it, but begrudgingly, following up with the remark that apologizes, apologies are for you. In a confessional, Dr. Heavenly observed that Dr. Jackie would never forgive the newcomer for attempting to scold. Her. And of course, because, you know, Dr. Jackie is the most senior in the group. And at the end of the day, um, I, this could have been handled differently. I always felt that way. Um, I was not a big fan myself of Sweet Tea and Dr. Gray coming back to the show because I am really more for quad. Um, I really felt that that was going to be the end. But since they seemed to come together and was able to sign contracts for them to be on the show, I figured, well, okay, as long as quad is okay. Because in my eyes, it, she needed to be okay with this situation. Because who would want their ex-husband coming on the show with their new wife? Uh, now I just thought about Shannon Bedore. <laughs> Real housewives, and she's got the girlfriend boyfriend situation, right? The ex boyfriend with Alexis Polina. So, yeah, it's just crazy, right? Crazy, crazy, crazy. But one thing about this show is, I'm telling you, it, a lot of these feuds, and there's been quite a few that have happened throughout the years, naturally. But one of the things about these feuds and what happens with these ladies is because they've known each other for a long time, and there's actually real feelings there. They're actually love there between the ladies they're very close friends for the most part and sometimes it's a love to hate and sometimes it's a let's get along to get along kind of situation but i feel that what makes their show so uh interesting even when you're dealing with the fuse is you get invested with them and you get invested in their stories and they actually have a story there's not contrived stories there are actually real uh situations and scenarios that you know are believable and understandable now this might be a bit of an unpopular opinion. I wasn't the biggest fan of Amelia on the show. I didn't feel like she was the best fit, in my opinion, and it only increased. Um, she's like a nice enough lady, um, but I just don't think that she fit for this group of ladies. 
and it only increased for me with the burglary situation. That was one a thing that I was like, okay, that's it for me. Um, you know, to actually accuse one of the cast members, you know, um, who was in the same, you know, maybe around the same kind of money <laughs> bracket, because you know these people are well to do, um, to say that they actually would put a burglary together to regard your house was insane. Um, however, Anelia did have a burglary in her house. Um, and of course, um, that is a horrible situation to go through. Um, but to put that on someone, or to spread a rumor over something so really insidious, it just made it worse. And I really felt that after that had happened, that Anelia's time was done. So, and, and I feel like now we're in a position where it's better, um, position for the ladies but there are a couple of situations that i wish would adjust and change and and um someone coming back would be really nice and that would be mariah and i want to see quad for sure i shared with you in a previous video that i was really uh upset about how things have went down with quad in this past season quad has been through a lot of stuff but I think that we might have some bit of a reprieve for her and I'm hoping we do. And I'm hoping uh, that we will see her for season 11. I'm not sure when that's gonna start airing, but I do think I'm gonna probably do a recap and review of it, um, of the season. Cause I really enjoy the show myself. And maybe if you enjoy it, uh, you know, you'll be in communication with me in the comment section uh, below. But I would love to know your thoughts about uh, these feuds. If you watch the show, what your thoughts were about these feuds. If there are some other feuds that you could think of that happened on the show that you think should have made this list <laughs> maybe in place of the ones that were shared then definitely drop those down in the comment section because i would love to know what they were and let's just have a conversation about it um and i think for um that that will do it for this video i hope you enjoyed it um it was a little bit lighthearted in the sense that um i just needed a break and i was thinking maybe y'all might have needed one too some of the stories are you know not so hard hitting of course right but they can very heavy sometimes when you have to, you know, deal with matters of the heart, for instance, and lawsuits and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so I do hope that you enjoyed. I'm so glad that you were here. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. And uh, yeah, if I can drop another video today, that I would be really happy about that. But if I don't get to see today, and I will definitely probably see you tomorrow. <laughs> but until then, nevertheless, I'm going to bid you adieu. I hope you have a great rest of your day, evening, or whenever you're watching this video. Thanks again. Bye. Bye.